Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back app and in today's video we'll continue our Flutter and Par series of videos going deeper into our Data Objects subseries. Today we'll be talking about GeoPoints. A GeoPoint is a conjunction of a latitude and la longitude that represents a specific GPS point in the globe. So you can use that to track uh, the activity of your users and give them real-time calculations based on those coordinates. Uh, PARS allows you to calculate very easily uh, distances from and to that location and allows you to draw polygons and uh, circles around it so you can easily see if a user is contained inside a specific area. So you can, for instance, uh, use this information to get, for instance, the 10 closest users to a de determined point. And it's very, very easy to do. So here I have my to-do Flutter class inside my to-do app that we're using for this series of videos. And here I have my Visual Studio where I set a few properties in the last videos that we saw. In order to start a new uh, property of the GeoPoint type, all I have to do is uh, come here, type set, give it a name. I'm going to call mine last location, comma, and then pass a parse geo point open and close parentheses. Inside this uh, open and close parentheses, I'm going to pass the latitude and then a specific latitude value, comma, and then longitude and a specific longitude value. I'm going to save all this and run Flutter Run. Choose my simulator, it's number two, and bring my simulator This takes a couple of minutes. There you go. If I go back to my Google Chrome and fully refresh my browser so I can retrieve the latest schema. Now, if I scroll to the right, here you will see, let's put it based on the last location. My last result here has my coordinates of the geo point for my last location type. So now that I have this location set, if I double click it, I can edit it just like a regular parse uh, uh, property. But now that I have this property set, I can use the parse framework to do all the calculations for me. So for instance, if I want to order by uh, a, a prox proximity of the users from a certain point, I can do so. I can calculate distances between or among uh, multiple uh, coordinates inside this last location that I set. I can check if this location is inside a specific area or a polygon or inside a circle of radius of X many miles or X many uh, kilometers. And Parse will do it automatically for me when I query based on this. We'll be seeing how to query that when we reach the query uh, for a part of this series. So I hope you like this video and hope to see you soon on the next one. See you soon. Bye bye.